we are India's only solar glass producer and uh, we supply to about uh, more than 100 module makers in India. This is day two of the REI Expo. The enthusiasm continues as usual and today we are with Mr. Kheruka, Vice Chairman of Borusil Renewables. Thank you Mr. Kheruka for joining us. Thanks for having us. It's a pleasure to interview us. So Borusil Renewables is a formidable name in the world of solar glass. So can you tell us a little bit about the organization, if you could tell us about the major milestones that the company has achieved in the last few years? So as a group, Borusil has been in manufacturing since 1962, so it's almost more than 60 years now. And we started uh, production of solar glass back in 2010. So we're an old company in the solar space. Uh, solar has become more prominent in the last few years, but we saw that trend uh, more than 12 years ago and we started production. We are India's only solar glass producer and uh, we supply to about uh, more than 100 module makers in India. Plus, we also have a reasonably good export presence in, uh, in Europe. Uh, we have now uh, 450 tons per day of capacity here in, uh, in India, in Bharuch, in Gujarat. And we are in the next month adding another 550 tons, so we'll be 1,000 tons, which is roughly about 6 gigawatts per annum. And the goal is to go to 12 gigawatts by 24, calendar year 24. Um, in addition to our India presence, we have an overseas uh, company that we have recently signed up to acquire which is based in Germany and they have a 300 ton per day plant. Uh, so our specialty is solar glass and we are here to serve all the customers in the, who are making solar modules. Also speaking of uh, solar modules, the cabinet has uh, recently approved the PLI scheme for the second tranche of solar modules. So tell us about that. Well, uh, I think the government is trying to definitely promote Make in India for the solar industry, which is excellent uh, because uh, energy security is extremely important for the country. We know what's happening in uh, in Europe right now with the conflict, uh, and they are, they are you know they are being held hostage for gas supplies, and you know the pricing of energy has gone up. Solar is abundantly available in India. You know we are blessed as a country. It's a, a it's free, so therefore we should have our own production and our own consumption of energy from solar. And I think this PLI scheme is in the right direction to promote Indian production of solar. So uh, we are very happy with it. So tell us about uh, your recycling plant. How, how do you manage uh, the waste that is uh, produced? So glass is actually already 100% recyclable. So there's no waste, it's zero discharge. Because all of the glass that is broken or any wastage, any quality challenges, uh, we break it as it and we remelt the glass. So glass is one of the most recyclable materials on earth, which is, uh, so it's, the ESG compliance is excellent. And uh, in addition to that, we have uh, all the, you know, we do rainwater harvesting uh, for, for, to increase the groundwater levels. Uh, we are doing, um, we have so we have wind energy. We're just adding another 18 megawatts of solar wind hybrid uh, in in the uh, to, to so that even the energy we consume for the production is coming from green sources. Um, you know we have uh, rooftop solar in our own facility. So we try and do as much as possible for environment. Of course, there are many other things that we do uh, to reduce our, our energy intensity is 22% lesser than the, uh, you know, our energy consumption is uh, about 22% lesser than the rest of the world. We benchmarked it with China as well as Europe, uh, and we have a certificate for that. So we are very carbon friendly or carb uh, low carbon uh, in our footprint. So, we, and we continue to hope to be carbon zero by 2040. That's exactly the question I was going to ask you. So thank you so much for your time and for this wonderful interaction. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.